Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing video. Uh, today I got in a big Mercari haul. This is the one I've been saying is unhinged. Just because it has a lot of kind of smaller random things. I got the very sudden urge to just collect everything that Jin's face is on. And even though originally I wasn't going to be like that as a collector, I got to the point where it's like I just missed him because he's been enlisted so long that I decided this was the best way to go. Just buy everything with his face on it. So this has a lot of smaller items. Uh, it has some stuff for friends. Uh, it also has a few like nice finds as well, like little bigger things. But yeah, it's a pretty big batch, so I'm going to get going on it. Um, may note that the lighting is different today, and that's simply because this came really late in the day this time. So normally stuff comes in before 3 p.m., but this one rolled in after, I think, almost at 8 p.m. So I'm just trying with some <clears throat> lights in the room and hoping for the best. For like a cooler vibe or I should say a cozier vibe and less cooler. <clears throat> wow. Some things are packed very interestingly. Okay. Did they get rid of the green envelopes? Oh wow, well, now we're in uh, yellow envelopes. All right. So everything was bought via Bai a lot of stuff. This might take a while to get through because it's a lot this time. I think I just smacked the camera there. Look at all this. Look at it. So, uh, yeah, let's get ready for this. Try to keep them off screen a bit here. Um, I think I will sleeve as I go. I do have some sleeves up here but if it gets um to the point that's taking too long then i might just not um let's hope this traveled well this is the first thing it's not even packaged or repackaged um this is from the beaverse event i guess the fact is putting on right now it has a lot of um bts merch and Again, typically I don't collect collab or third-party stuff, unless I really like it, but I did happen to really like this stuff, so. Um, looks like we got like a pamphlet from the event. And you just wish you could go to these. I wish these were in the area, like just, you know if they put these in big cities around the world, people will go. Um, it's like a little pin. Maybe this was like the admission kit. Um, just like a little plastic pouch. Um, and then this is very, very handsome gin. This was the, hopefully that's showing up good. This is the first card I saw from them. And I was like, all right, we're not um, we're not passing this one up. And then, of course, I realized that there's three. I believe these were admission lucky draws for the event. And yeah, he's just, he's really handsome in this card. Like, gorgeous. I'm going too slow, honestly. I just realized because there's a big stack there, but... Um, this is one of the ones I was anticipating. And as I was saying, I don't typically uh, collect too much of the third party stuff. I say that and then we're gonna see what's in this batch because I kind of forget everything. Because um, I think it's the biggest batch I've opened so far. Since I pretty much just open batches for myself. Um, and just a few friends. But with uh, like Daikon, like DeFesta, and uh, the fact, I find they have like really nice 
photos of the guys. So I kind of base it on that. Like if I like the photo, then that's that's that. I'll get it. Let's see what this is. And I don't even remember what I got. Oh, it's more beavers. So they had a few things. They had um oh gosh, I forgot what these are called, like these portfolios. So we have, hopefully these are showing up nicely. And this handsome picture again. So I did get a bunch of beaver stuff. I just couldn't help it. I liked it too much to pass up on it. I did get the postcards as well, but they're coming through a group order manager, so. Uh, we won't see the postcards in this batch. We're starting off strong with beavers, apparently. Um, I don't know where my little, my little cloud is. I think it got buried under all my stuff here. Oh, there it is. Be helpful. Also, I don't know if it's showing up on camera how dry my hands are. It's extremely dry these days here. And my hands do not do well in dry weather. It doesn't matter how much hand cream I apply, it's like it always just happens. Uh, so this is another beaver's card. So again, it's from the fact and the kind of photo shoots and the photo books and stuff like that they do. Um, this one's from 2022 when he won his award, which is really cool. Let's just receive him. I'm recording this after everybody just graduated or finished graduating. Um, from their boot camp training, which is fantastic. That means we're one month down. I think close to five weeks, actually. I put this in wrong, but that's exciting. That we're, uh, we're getting to that point. I hope it goes quickly. It feels simultaneously like the longest and the shortest time for Jen, because on one hand I'm like, wow, we're already at, you know, there's only, what, five months left? But at the same time, it's like, wow, there's still five months left. It still feels like an eternity, so. Who knows, man? And we're just front loaded with beavers. You guys are going to see everything beavers before anything else. I guess the card's in here. So I guess this is how the Lucky Draws came. So I guess I have another pamphlet that came with this one and another pouch. So let's see which one this is. Oh, all three gins all up front. I guess that kind of gives away that there's Tay ones around, but uh, yeah, we'll get to those. <clears throat> this is like, oh, he's got a little ding. Uh, I guess that's the problem, especially with Lucky Draws coming from across the world. Whatever, you can't see it very much in the light, so it's fine. It's our like handsome daddy gin. Yep. Moving on. I have so many to go through. I may have to start speeding up a bit because I'm just taking my sweet time just enjoying opening these, but uh, some of these have multiple items. <laughs> some of these were like sets of things, so it's going to, it's going to take a long time to flip through. 
Is this still more beavers up front? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave this in here because it's nicely folded, but this is for a friend. It is a slogan uh, banner. So that's pretty cute. Looks like that traveled nicely. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to get into these quicker. I don't have a whole lot to talk about right now, unfortunately. I'm mainly just super excited that these are all coming in. This was a really exciting batch just for the sheer volume. Most of my batches, I'd say, are like, I don't know, maybe 15 items or 15 orders, where this one is, I think, closer to 30. So it's by far the biggest batch. This is taking forever. The biggest batch I've ordered personally for myself. Um, don't even know how we got here, but... Sometimes I'm just like that, I guess, with collecting. I do also have some other really fun things in the mail. I do have one that should arrive tomorrow. Um, I guess depending on how long it takes, I will do either a short unboxing or just a um, or just a, a short because. Shouldn't take too long to get into it, but it kind of depends if it came with anything else. Uh, so this is from... I'm going to say it wrong every time, and I hate it. And it's O-N-L Exhibition. And this is the unreleased photo for Tay. Um, I hope it's legit. I don't know. I'm going to have to check it. I'll have to check it against my gin that I have uh, in my binder. We'll see. It's a little roughed up. More tete. Seems he's been doing quite well. Just seen a few of the stories of him eating well, just floating around on uh, on Twitter. And he looked pretty good in um, Nam June's Insta story. Oh my gosh. So I hope he's doing well. I know he's really excited, but I know sometimes reality and expectations can be different so I hope I hope everything's going as good for him as he hoped because no matter what it's a hard thing to do <clears throat> oh my gosh this is so ugh, this is wrapped so scary I can't there's so I don't know if it's showing up on the camera but there's so much tape on this thing I'm gonna cut this. I can't even get through it. Oh, some progress. Okay. Like, thank you for waterproofing, but I need to be able to get into it. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay. We're in. We did it. We're in. I hope these are real. Let's go. My forever worry is that things will just not be legitimate, but I think we're okay in most cases. Hopefully these are showing up nicely. So I wanted to get those to go with Ginny because I, yeah, I try to keep them even, but there's definitely certain things that are going to be gin only. 
just because Tay is just so damn expensive. Um, that's a little ridiculous. In some cases. Jen can be really expensive too, though, honestly. Uh, this is just a regular The Fact card from the photo book release last year. I wasn't going to collect them, but I kind of am just looking around for things to add to my collection at this point. And it's one of the things that I really like how he looks. Also, it kind of commemorates like a big moment for him too. So I want to slowly just kind of get the rest of the set for that. another one that's for a friend. Again, I'm going to keep it packaged the way it is because it's nicely done, so I'll just put that over there for now. It doesn't look like it needs repacking. Okay. Well, I can just slide this one out the top, whatever it is. Ah! So, another thing I'm going to start trying to, like, get are the Japan Benefits cards and postcards. Uh, I have, I think if anyone's watched the older or the flip throughs of my binders, I have, you know, a card hollow, star hollow, and the airplane uh, one, but I wanted to collect like the older postcards. Gins are hard to find, man. I find Tays are kind of everywhere. Well, gins are just so MIA for no friggin' reason. I'm trying. I have to move these just so they don't get. Okay. But I think I'm going to try to get those. They shouldn't be too hard, except for probably first fan meet or first, uh, like the first one. For some reason, Jen's. I. I don't know if I've ever seen it for sale, honestly. <clears throat> so, then I got Tay Beavers. Uh, let's try to get this out. I don't know about anyone else, but I hate when there's tape on the front. I always worry my nails gonna like ding it. Um, I've been thinking a lot about what I wanna do with my collection though, because I've kind of come a long way and I don't, I don't really want to get into collecting more than two members because it's already overwhelming and I do tend to be very completionist so I don't want to bankrupt myself moving into like collecting like Yumi or something. Um, I feel like it's just a bad move for me. So I just kind of want to continue collecting these two but I've been thinking a lot about like what that means and uh, where I should go from here. Uh, so in terms of like new and collaborative things, just what I like. Oh, there's two. So these are both from Beverse again. I'll just quickly resleeve them. But yeah, I want to, if I like them like these, I'll just, I'll get them. If, uh, like, you know, New albums that come out, of course. Any cards that are associated with, like, Kim Sook Jin 1, of course. But then, I don't know, I have a lot of smaller stuff, so I've been, like, thinking a lot on, like, where I want to go from here. And I guess the answer is, like, I really, really like Debut Era. There's just something, like, really uh, appealing to me about it. Uh, especially with like older Jin items. I just really like his like uh, Dark and Wild and uh, School Trilogy looks. So I kind of want to, I was thinking maybe try to collect some of the older Jin stuff like the Wapin card, which I've never seen for sale. So I guess good luck to me, but uh, like that would be cool. Uh, maybe like a signed, um, school love affair card 
uh, probably just gin. I mean, gin, first and foremost, is like my old, right? So, like, I love Tay dearly and collecting him, but I just, I don't think I can afford to just collect them both. And I could get to the point in the future where it's like, makes sense to collect them both or uh, pursue Tay's. Like at this point, I'm also looking for Tay broadcasts, which I thought I'd never do because of the price. <sighs> Why are these always like this? So I think, yeah, just I'm going to start looking for some of the rarer items for Jin and the debut era. Um, I'm still looking for the Warren Hormone broadcast PC. That's like probably my top ISO of the year. Okay, got it. Um, but again, that's another one that's extremely expensive, so... It doesn't have to be, I guess. I like I know it's valued, sorry. I know it's valued pretty high. I've seen people say like 1500 American and things like that. And it's like I may never get it if it's that price. But I have I have found oops, the other ones for really good prices, at least for gin. So uh, I think it's possible. Uh, I think I'll just leave these in here because otherwise this video is going to be extremely long. But this is the other wing set. Um, I got, I have a short of uh, opening gins that I got from a seller on Instagram. So I wanted to get Tay as well. So that's his whole set for that. Sorry if I go out of frame sometimes. A little a little hard at times to see where everything is because my tripod's above my head and my phone, my screen. Uh, so this is what I mean by unhinged because this is where I just basically bought like an inclusions, kind of like all these like Japan ones and just like flyers. This, this particular listing was fantastic because it literally just had everything. And we have Tete, which I didn't realize came in this batch. So um, I now have doubles of this Tete, so this Taeyong. What do other people call him? I used to just say Tay. I've been saying Tete lately and I don't know why. I think because layover. Um, I don't know why, for some reason in layover, I just start calling them by Tete. Um, and before that, I wouldn't have thought to do that. But maybe I'll just try to say Tay going forward. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, this is your other uh, two more collab cards, which I keep saying I don't buy, and then I seem to just keep having more of, but um, these. Well, mainly the one I wanted, because honestly, Samsung does a good job as well. Some of the collabs actually do great jobs on the PCs. So this one has two. Which I will re-sleeve as always. This is kind of cute, though. Bam! This one's nice, not super exciting. Um, and this one, for all us delusional people, the proposal headphones. I always thought this card was pretty cute, so um, these two were pretty inexpensive so I was just like you know what throw it in hence the name unhinged because it literally is just me just looking up gin stuff and just throwing it into the batch whenever I found stuff that I didn't have for a good price um, okay 
and this one, I hope this one's legit. I mean, you can only do your best to look at them over on the listings and then hope that the inspections work out. But we got Kyocera Dome. This is my first one, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but he looked good in the listing, at least compared to other collectors' photos of their own. So he looks pretty good. Hopefully the back's good, I'll double check. Of course I'll go and double check everything later. I don't know if these are long enough for this. It's kind of an odd size card, right? Okay, so I'll just double sleeve. Or a uh, single sleeve with a bigger sleeve for this one. Anyway, I'd love to get one of the signed gin ones. Again, I've never seen it. I saw Tay for sale, but it was like a bit of a rough sign and a bit expensive for having a rough sign. So, decided not to go with that. I'm actually just really quickly, I'll try not to make too much of a mess here. I also try to reuse all the like hard tops and sleeves and stuff. So it's trying to keep all these together without making too big of a mess. Alright. My whole table is just consumed by this batch. I don't know. I haven't even... I knew this was coming, but I had such a hectic day and a hectic week that I haven't had a chance to even think about um, sitting down and getting the pages and the binder ready. So I have most of these places, things uh, have no home right now. And I'll just have to go down and look at stuff later. Um, I don't know what it is that's this shape. So we'll find out. What do we got? Oh, right. Okay. So me and my love of defestogen. Oh my god. Oh my god, why is this so... Uh, anyways, me and my absolute love and adoration for the defestogen. So, I picked up the bookmark. I said I wasn't going to do it. I said I was done. But again, this was uh, about buying Jim's face. The buying Jim's face batch. So I got defestogen bookmark. Guys, I don't even know if we're halfway through. Okay. Um. Let's go. Alright. So, just like with Tay, um, I got a lot of the gin, like, I don't even know what to call these. Some of them are flyers and some of them are just like, like inclusions or slips in the Japan stuff. I should keep this everywhere. Um, I guess it's going to help um, fill out binders. So we got some gin stuff now. Similar to the taste stuff I pulled out already. I love being able to get these in batches. Like this, these two, like the one of Tay and this one of like Jin. They were a good price, like pretty cheap. So it's like, why not? Speaking of binders, everyone's, um, or a lot of you have probably seen the Prism Platinum uh, announcement for the A4s by now. Like they've actually shown them. I think when I filmed the last one, we knew they were coming, but we didn't know what they looked like. And although I do really love how they look, I think they're beautiful. Like, they're, they're really good looking binders. I just, right now the price is a little much. And then also for what I need, I'd have to put in multiple orders just because of the current limitations, like the restrictions that they have on them. And I get it, they're a small business, so it's like they have to do things to, like, protect their interests. <clears throat> is fine but I kind of have a need to move my stuff sooner so I'm gonna try out Meow Cafe 
um, because I've heard good things about that and the binders seem uh, nice. They seem to have all the same types of pages and then that way I can get some of my stuff moved sooner than later. Um, so that's that stuff is also coming in the mail probably for some time next week. Oops, wrong side. And then I can kind of move some stuff and then maybe we can do some flip throughs and just do like a, a half arsed review of Meow Cafe because I'm not really around to review things. I just kind of use what works for me. But I will give feedback on it for anyone who's curious. This is the Jen Phila Project 7 card. Um, I didn't know it existed until I saw another Jin collector had it. And I just thought it was like super nice. So I've been looking for this one for a long time, actually. I don't know how well this is going to show up because it's kind of dark. But I've been looking for this card for a long time because I just thought it was such a nice photo of Jin. So when it finally came up for sale, I was like, oh. Like when I saw a listing, I was so excited. Actually, I think... I think I might have opened this batch for this one, if I'm remembering correctly. It's been a while. This batch was, like I said, by far my biggest and also the one that I kept open the longest. Usually I don't let them get almost to the full storage time, but this one came pretty close. But I think I actually opened it for that one. Uh, looks like we have more Beaver's Tay. So just in our pouch, I guess I'm gonna have a lot of those. Um, there we got it. Tay here. So all of them have the same three photo shoots versions of them. I'm gonna use this bag to put all the sleeves in. So I, as you saw, I have all three gin and all three Tays. Great, that's just done and out of the way. Okay, quite the card stack happening over here. Just start those a second. Uh, it looks like we're a little over halfway now, so that's good. I forgot, I forgot I had this one. I've been eyeing this one for a long time and for some reason people love to make fakes of these and I don't know why, maybe because they're older. For some reason it's like heavily faked so I always got really worried. I think this one is okay. I checked it really carefully against um, listings. I don't think I have a card sleeve that will fit it so I think I'll just leave it for now. Oh, actually, I think maybe this will fit. So these are from the CC magazine, if anyone doesn't know. And it was just like a magazine they were part of. They got the back, like printed signature. Let's see if it fits this, I don't know. Uh, not quite. Okay, I'll re-sleeve that one later. Um, I'll get Tay eventually, but Jin was on my, my wish list for this year. And I think I found a good one, so hooray. That's one ISO from my wish list down for 2024 anyway. Oh my god, it's so dry in here. <laughs> Yet another uh, let's buy things with good face. Another flyer. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun trying to figure out how to work. Um, work with an A4. I did um, I did actually try to move some of my stuff to A4s with Ultra Pro Pockets, which are only three holes, just because I kind of wanted to see how it would go. Uh, that particular stuff and that particular project did not work out at all. Um, the, okay. Um, 
the pages basically that I had weren't really, you know, they're for not K-pop, right? Like, so it's like, I was trying to make it work and it wasn't, and I didn't really have a good vision. Um, I would, like I've mentioned, I will be moving uh, Kay and Jen's solo album cards to an A4. So I am really looking forward to, oh, they sent this like, like extra nicely protected for just like a flyer type thing. Um, handsome, handsome. Let's put that with the rest of them. Actually this one too. But yeah, I will, I'm losing my train of thought. being honest, I don't know what I was talking about there. It's also getting really late. <laughs> if it comes back to me, I'll come back to it, but um, yeah, that thought, that train of thought is really long gone. Okay. Yup. Yup. Oh, another flyer. Again, look at all this great uh, packing supplies I'm getting. <laughs> I just really like this one. I just think it's like a really great picture of him. I don't even know how I'm gonna clean up this table. Like I gotta clean this up for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Ah, okay. Um, so last order I got Jin's, um, exhibition photos so this time I got Tay's and I actually started that's right I was talking about binders I'm excited for the A4 binder just to give it a shot and try to figure out how to nicely um, display them and uh, I'll film some of it so you can come with me on figuring that out <laughs> if you want to watch but anyway so I wanted to get uh, Tay's With these. They seem okay. Uh, so we'll flip through these quick. So again, these are the exhibition photos. Uh, the one I pulled earlier was not included, I don't think. We'll find out, I guess, if it's snuck into this, but not included in this little batch. There was 15 plus a 16th one that was like an unreleased photo, I think it was called. Um, so it was like in addition to this uh, series, which are a series of three. I'm sorry I'm going so fast, but like I still got a lot to get through. So I did set up a little um, A5 binder for exhibition stuff. And I kind of rearranged some of my other binders too. So I actually have an exhibition binder, which includes like Butterfly Dream. It includes ONL, it includes Proof Exhibition and the Hive Dreamers Exhibition. So, which actually kind of broke up um, the binder I had that was called like album adjacent and now most of those I put alongside album stuff because I was thinking about how I did that with the solo albums anyway. I know I'm off screen here but it's a little bit of a fight. Is there something in here still? So that binder kind of got deconstructed and moved to different things. I've been playing around a lot with like how I want things to look. I think these are the Tay Beavers. Yeah. Okay. So whenever I get the chance to do more binder flip throughs, um, the fun thing is like I have been playing around with different things. So there's all these. Um, I'll slide these in under gin. Um, so they'll be a little different when we see them again. And again, some binders have been completely dismantled and rearranged into other binders. We're almost done. So we're doing good. 
So I think this has been going for quite a while. This is probably going to be my longest video so far because it's just a lot to talk about and a lot to see. Um, let's see, let's see. Wow, this is... Yep. So I got a little Persona Gin notebook. Again, I don't know why. Just this man. I just wanted, I want this man's face a hundred times, thousand times. Just want his face more in my house. So there he is. More gin. Um, actually thinking about it, so far my bachelors have been pretty tea heavy because it's, I at the time was catching Tay up because I was a little head on gin stuff that I wanted to keep equal. Um, this batch is almost equal with a little bit of weight on gin stuff. I think at the end of the day it's like I did end up just buying lots of things also with Tay's face so yep. Uh, this is more Vicon because my stuff came without the POBs, which I've said a few times. And then there's like, there's like a pop-up exhibition and like a Japan thing and there's all these other things. So I guess I'm gonna have to get a, some kind of folder. These are really pretty. Oh shoot, they have backs. Um, so I don't know how reflective this is being, hopefully not too annoying, but there's all these like additional things. And again, I've mentioned I really love this photo shoot, like maybe one of my favorites for Tay. So I kind of wanted to get a few more things from it. Um, also got some of these uh, postcards. So. those off. Two more guys. I hope everything's here. I'm going to, uh, I mean they're pretty good but maybe I should go check after just to make sure everything did arrive in the right, like, in the box. I don't have that add anything to the next order. Oh, this is another thing I bought on a whim. I think I was searching in the word lenticular and then this came up and I forgot these even existed. And for the love of me, I could not find gins. Is this gonna show up at all? Yeah. So I couldn't find gins at all, but I found Taze for a really good price. Uh, just the 3D photo from Donna Uh I guess 2022, I think it was. <laughs> I don't, I can't tell you why I got it. But it's very nice, and if I find Jen, I'll pick them up too. Okay, last one. Yep. Yep. Okay. Jesus, I don't even know what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's going to take me just as long to, like, figure out how to, like, uh, unpack these things. Ah. <laughs> when Aunt an anticlimactic finish or is this uh no this is fine okay this is fine this is uh this is gin it's danger um i believe it was just from from like the jewel case for the japan album <laughs> but i forgot completely that tay was in that other jk's on the back um, I forgot completely that Tay was part of that one set, so I bought it again. So now I have two of them, I guess, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, that is it. That was a long haul, but I think a lot of good stuff, a lot of fun stuff. Like, look at, just quickly, we got like, lots of gin cards this time. And then Tay Beavers. And then, of course, <laughs> all the stuff I have under here. And then we have the CC card, we have the postcards, we have all the random B merch, B verse merch. 
Uh, but that's everything. So thank you for joining me. I will wrap this up quickly and hope you come back to hang out in the next video. Okay, bye guys.